why is it so easy to be thin in Japan <laughs> um, I'm quite sure some of us know why why is it so easy to be thin in Japan um, they don't eat a lot they don't have a lot of junk food I'm assuming like here in America we have a lot of junk food yeah we eat a lot of junk here so I'm quite sure that's one of the reasons and from watching other videos um, of course, I've never been to Japan before, but watching the videos, I've seen how do they eat. Um, they eat small portion. It might look like they eat a lot, but they don't really eat a lot. Um, they really they eat. They don't eat that much. And what else? And they walk a lot too. They walk in. They uh, there's a lot of things that play in um play into this, but yeah, that's a, that's that's one of the few things if I yeah is the food they they don't eat a lot of portion oh tea sometimes tea do play a role in it too they drink a lot of tea a lot of green tea I'm not sure what other kind of tea they drink but I know they drink a lot of green tea um and that's it pretty much that's 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 all I know <laughs> that's all I know but anyway let's get straight to the video if you've ever been to Japan, you may have noticed Ooh, that it's really hard Ooh. to find an obese Japanese person. Ooh. In the United States, it's quite a different story. Yes. The rate of obesity among adults in America is on average so around 30%. <laughs> whereas the Japan obesity rate is only 3.5%. That's crazy. But what makes the weight of people in these two countries so different? Why Japanese people? At first, I was thinking about things like Japanese people drink a lot of green tea and they get a decent amount of fermented foods like yes. kimchi or natto, oh. which is great for the gut microbiome. Oh, I love kimchi. I I eat a lot of kimchi. So maybe that's going to be helping me. <laughs> I eat a lot of sushi too. But in this video, I want to focus on a very simple yet key point about Japan. The food environment is drastically different from the U.S. As of 2017, there's over 243,000 fast food establishments in America. There's only 6,169 establishments in Japan, meaning per person, there's about 15 mm. times more fast food restaurants in America. Yes, look at this map. This is crazy. This is sad. As you can see, it's, m it's mostly on the East Coast. This is crazy. Then again, in Japan, fast food, fried food, chips, chocolate, candy, soda, and not so healthy things are still available wherever you go. But there's a huge variety of equally convenient, reasonably healthy food. Let's say I'm the average busy person in the States who would like to be healthy, but doesn't have time to cook at home. What's for breakfast? Most people's options are limited to things like a McGriddle with hash browns and coffee, or maybe an egg and processed cheese sandwich with tater tots at Dunkin' Donuts, or some pancakes at Denny's if you have more time. Surely some people will have healthier options than that, but I'm trying to think of what most people are going to have access to. So what's a quick breakfast in Japan? While there's more than 6,000 fast food establishments in Japan, there's also 5,000 rice bowl establishments. Mm. The big ones are Yoshinoya, Skia, yeah. and Matsuya. And for $4 at Skia, for breakfast, you can get plain rice, this. miso soup with seaweed, an egg, baked fish, and a small potato. See, it look like it looks like it's a lot, but if you look at the portion, it's not really a lot. Potato salad comes with it. If I'm extra hungry, maybe I'll add some kimchi, fermented soybeans, and stewed beef for four dollars. Four. Or you can put together. Oh, I'm sorry for cutting. Keep cutting the video so much. That's another thing too. I'm quite sure other countries are like this, but in Japan, I, I've learned also is that they their junk food is more expensive than their healthy food. See, here in America, is the other way around. Uh, junk food is cheaper, but healthy food is way more expensive here in America. I know, I know, it's crazy. It is, <laughs> it's crazy. A reasonably healthy meal from a convenience store at a Japanese convenience store. I can get a rice ball, which is just rice, salmon, and salt, a small salad, Look at or this. a package of sushi, or a thing of fish with miso, or some soup. soup. I was pretty impressed with how little junk is in this. It's basically just vegetables, pork, and fish broth. That's it! And there's a bunch of foods like this. Here's what I can get for under $10 USD. Compare this to what's available in American convenience stores. 
They're usually limited to fried foods sitting under heat lamps See? or foods loaded with trans fats, sugar, preservatives, and unhealthy additives. If you're lucky, you might be able to get a package of plain nuts with nothing added. So the items in Japanese convenience stores are not top quality health foods, but they're not bad. Right. This is big because practically everyone has access to these places. Convenience stores like these are everywhere. Japan has about 55,000 convenience stores, meaning there's about 10 times more convenience stores per square kilometer in Japan compared to America. For most, these places are in walking distance. I understand that, of course, there are healthy restaurants here and there in America, and you can make a really healthy meal with ingredients from the supermarket. Yeah. But when it comes to cheap, convenient, and quick food, it's almost always quite unhealthy. In Japan, for a quick lunch, I can go to Burger King, or right next door, I can get some sushi. I can get a hamburger and some popcorn at Vandalism Cafe, or I can go next door to Matsuya and get a bowl of spicy tofu soup with a bit of beef, green onion, that. and cabbage, some pork, a soft-boiled egg, mm -hmm. some mustard spinach, rice, and there's free pickled ginger to go with it. Yep. And of course, there are many healthier non-chain places that offer many different types of cuisine. And this variety is important. That looks good. It's going to be much easier to stick to healthier options if you aren't getting bored of having to eat the same things at the same places over and over. Even if you're going out to drink with friends at dinner time, there's still a variety of good food choices. The standard place to drink at is an izakaya. At 10,000 establishments, there's almost twice as many izakayas as there are fast food places in Japan. Replacing fast food for alcohol is not a good strategy, but let's see what the common izakaya chains have to offer in the way of food. Look at this. Let me point. And some people might think that's a lot of food. That's really not a lot. Because as you can see, that's seafood. So it's not fatty as a, a meat. One more time that there's of course much red better meat, quality food <laughs> than what you get at convenience stores, rice bowl chains, or izakayas. And this is not what most Japanese people eat on a daily basis. I'm not really recommending these places either. Most Japanese people wouldn't think of these places as healthy. But this isn't about optimal health. I just mean to point out that even someone who puts minimal effort into being healthy can get some reasonable quality meals out of these very convenient places. By the way, what's everyone drinking with and between meals? In America, more often than not, it's soda. Considering a survey of 80 countries found that America comes in at rank number one for soda consumption at 170 liters purchased. A lot of people here do drink a lot of soda. I don't drink a lot of soda but, uh, that much. If I do drink soda, it'll probably be like ginger ale. That's it. I don't drink Pepsi and none of that stuff. <laughs> per person in 2011. Japan came in at rank 56 at 32 liters per person. In Japan, most places serve tea with your meal for free, and in general, it's harder to purchase massive quantities of soda. There's no comically large big gulps at 7-Eleven. I haven't seen these packs of soda here, and Japan has the smallest large cup size at McDonald's. An American medium-sized drink is bigger than a Japanese large. Another factor to thank for keeping people's soda intake low is again, variety. What's interesting is despite Japan drinking five times less soda than America, Soda is available in vending machines everywhere in Japan. There's 5.52 million vending machines, meaning there's a vending machine for every 23 people in Japan. That's the highest vending machine per capita on the planet. I mean, I'm quite sure they're making money. And it's, and that's that's what you call convenient. And and another thing too, um, I, I forgot to mention that Japan is very safe, is one of the safe uh, countries also. One of the safe countries here in America, you're not going to find vending machines like that out like that in the open. You probably, maybe in some states. I don't know. I don't know any states that'll do that. Um, I think there was, well, I think somewhere in California, because I used to live in California. And uh, where I was at, they, there was a vending machine that was available, but, I, but you don't see much of them. Because people, people break into these things. So what's in these vending machines? Why don't we take a look at this vending machine that, that came across on the side of the road. They would have stole, here in America, they would have stole the whole vending machine. In the middle of nowhere, in Hakone. <laughs> Among other things, Sad. they have black coffee, six different types of unsweetened tea, and S water. See? A typical American vending machine offers 13 varieties of drink, the only non-sweet one being water. <laughs> so, convenience and variety. Simple, but it makes a difference. 
It's easier to pick the healthy choices when they are just as easy and convenient as the unhealthier choices. It's a lot of people. Now, this is by no means the full story on Japan and health, but I think these are two key factors. I'll be doing another video on some of the many other things that contribute to health in Japan, so if there's a particular point you want to hear discussed, leave a comment below. Yeah, I was just saying, um, I, you know, as American, I'm surrounded by these type of food, you know, these type of junk food, I should say. But now that I'm older, I'm more, um, I'm starting to become a little bit more wiser when it comes to like eating certain food now. But for, you know, but I love, I love Asian food. I just, I just love their food. That's just me. <laughs> don't let my Jamaican parents hear that. <laughs> They'll be like, what, what? Asian food's your favorite? You don't like Jamaican food? I love Jamaican food, of course, but Asian food is like my top favorite food. And, um, and I try to, I try to eat how the way they eat, you know, like the small portion and I love sushi. I like, I have sushi in my fridge right now. I, I make my own sushi. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so comment below. Let me know how you feel about this video and I will see you lovely people. Take care. Peace.